supposed to be tobacco settlement money was going to pay for all this increased benefits. Uh, what they didn't tell you was there's a provision that if the tobacco money wasn't enough, the general fund would make up the difference. Well, we've been subsidizing that to the tunes of hundreds of millions of dollars a year that nobody had originally expected when it passed. What I recommend is we put that back on the voters and give them a transparent choice and say, okay, the tobacco settlement will pay for this level of benefits. And this will have to lower the benefits to meet that, what you originally promised. Or option B, this is the amount of what it would take to provide the benefits you were originally promised. This is the additional tax that it would require. And let people decide, do we want to keep higher benefits and, and pay for it? Or do we want the lower benefits and, and save that money for other things in the budget like education or universities and so on and so forth? And give that transparent choice that they didn't have before because they were promised everything for free and it doesn't work that way and and that's I think the the fairest way to approach this than just doing something temporary because that permanently fixes the problem. Uh, Randy Pullen, the uh, chairman of the Arizona Republican Party has come out in support of uh, Jam Brewer's uh, proposed temporary tax increase. What do you make of this split that's starting to emerge within the Republican Party? Uh, uh, that was even more surprising, I, I think, than otherwise, otherwise to see him do that. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I can only talk about what I believe <laughs> and where I would stand or what I would do. Uh, I, I, am, I was surprised a lot that he, that he did that, but I don't know if he's just saying I'm going to be a good soldier and, and fight for whatever the governor wants and it, uh, whatever I said I believed in before, I'm setting aside to fight for the governor. I, I, I just, I don't know. He, uh, you were criticized by a lot of conservatives for supporting his opponent in the race for the chairmanship. Do you kind of feel vindicated now? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I guess so. I, I hadn't thought of it that way, but yeah, I, I don't think uh, you would have seen that from from the other side. I, you know, I, I think what we really need, you know, we need a solution that isn't Republican or Democrat in Arizona. And so often things get labeled as a party issue or party fight. Um, and I think to, to one degree, he shouldn't be involved with this. The, the Republican Party is there to help Republican Party candidates. Getting in there and working policy issues, that's always been my thing. That the elected official is the one that decide policy. The party is there to support the, the infrastructure for the campaigning side. And let the policy be decided by elected officials and not by the, I mean, they, those are the ones that people voted for. The, the general public didn't vote for the head of the party. Uh, uh, um, that's why the, I think policy should be made by those of us who are, stand out there for election. And if we lose, you don't get to hear from us. If we win, you know, then we get to uh, stand on our records. And you'll be running, I assume, again for treasurer? I'll be running for re-election. I'll be up in 2010. So I get to run one more term for this uh, for a uh, total of eight years. And one more quick question. We have not talked about when you predict the turnaround will happen. I'm actually optimistic on this. I, I think by the end of this year, 2009, we will hit bottom. And we'll actually start a, a slow recovery. I, I, I call it the Nike uh, uh, economy because you, you had the bubble up with uh, the housing bubble and then the crash down and we're right at the bottom of that crash and then we got that long tail of recovery and it, I think it'll take you know it, it, it'll be better in 2010 but not great it, you know two percent growth it, it'll be 2014 before the state revenues equal what they were last year so it's going to be a long recovery but you got a lot of houses that were uh, uh, built that we didn't have people to live in it's going to take some time for that to, to get filled in Thank you so much, Mr. Martin, Thank you for, for being me. with us.